Hello there Kings Clubbers, it is great to see you. Why don't we pray as we start our time together. Father God, we love you. Thank you for our mums on this Mothering Sunday. Thank you for all they do for us. Thank you that they look after us. Thank you for the love that they show us. And thank you that you show us such great love too. Amen. And our key point today is... Our key point is I can be a good example to my friends. Is that the sound of a fanfare I can hear? And our Bible bit today comes from one of the letters in the Bible. Remember we talked about those different books in the Bible and the last group of books that we looked at were called Books of Letters right at the back of your Bible and today's Bible bit comes from 1 Timothy chapter 4 verse 12 which says this You are young but do not let anyone treat you as if you were not important. Be an example to show the believers how they should live. And our Bible bit today came from a letter written by a man called Paul to a friend of his called Timothy. And Timothy was younger than Paul. He was living at home where he was being looked after by his mum, whose name was Eunice, and his grandma, whose name was Lois. And both Eunice, his mum, and it's Mother's Day today, and Lois, his grandma, they both shown Timothy so much love. Both Lois and Eunice loved Father God, and by their example, they showed Timothy, young Timothy, what God's love looked like. They showed him through the kindness in the way that they treated him, through the things that they did for him, how they told him all about God's love. And Paul, he also helped Timothy understand what God's love looked like as well. Let's have a look at this little video together all about Paul and Timothy. God's story, Timothy. So part of God's story is about a guy named Timothy and it begins like this. A boy named Timothy, let's call him Tim, was living in a town called Lystra with his grandma Lois and his mom Eunice. These two women taught Tim about God. They also taught him to enjoy spending time with God, just like how you can enjoy spending time with your friends. Tim knew a lot about God and had heard that God was going to send his son Jesus to rescue people from all the wrong things in the world. But since there weren't any TVs or newspapers back then, Tim didn't know that Jesus was already here. One day, a man named Paul came to Tim's city and told the people there that God had sent Jesus to the world and we can know him and follow him. Tim wanted Paul to teach him to follow Jesus. He also wanted to learn other things Paul knew, like how to pray for his friends, how he could know God even better, and how to tell God's story. Kids, can you imagine loving to learn so much that you go to school all the time? You start following your teacher home on weekends and going with your teacher on vacation. You even go to school in the summer. That's kind of what Tim did. He followed Paul everywhere so he could learn new stuff about God all the time. But they didn't stay in one city. They went on a journey to a lot of cities like Corinth, Greece, Jerusalem, Rome, Athens, Phrygia, Galatia, Mysia, Troas, Neapolis, Philippi, Apollyona, Berea, Thessalonica. And back again. Have you ever taken a trip with one of your best friends? When you spend a lot of time together, you learn a lot about each other. Well, Tim spent a lot of time with Paul, and he learned so much from him. And all those things he learned, he started telling other people. Some people thought Tim was too young to teach things to grown-ups. But Paul said to Tim, don't ever let people tell you that you're too young to tell them about God. You can show them how to act like Jesus. Kids, those things he said are in the Bible. 1 Timothy 4.12. Check it out. Remember, Paul knew a lot about God, and he was right. You're never too young to learn to act like Jesus. Anyway, in Tim's day, a lot of people were doing some pretty not nice things. Like some people tried to get their way all the time or called their friends names. Others even did things like burp at the table right after their moms asked them not to. And they didn't even say excuse me. Tim showed them how to act like Jesus. After a while, Tim and Paul couldn't be together all the time, but that was okay because Paul still wrote lots of letters to Tim, and Tim was able to keep learning. And even though Tim was still learning, he started to tell people about God. You don't need to know everything about God to tell other people about him, kids. Just share what you know. Now the problem for Tim was sometimes he felt scared. He wasn't afraid of the usual stuff. Spiders, dogs, darkness, heights, snakes, dentists, germs, even fluffy pillows. Or maybe that last one's just me. 
Where were we? Oh yeah, Tim was scared to tell people about God because he thought nobody wanted to listen to him. In his letters, Paul taught Tim that he didn't have to be scared of anything because God is with him. And you don't have to be scared either. God's with you too. Tim learned a lot of other things from Paul's letters too, like how he should always tell the truth, how he should make friends with people who are lonely, and how he should not be worried about looking cool or getting a lot of awesome new stuff. Remember, learning about God was Tim's favorite thing to do. So that's what he kept doing his whole life. And that's the story of Timothy. Have you got a good friend? I've I'm sure that you have. I've got a good friend whose name is Les. Maybe you've seen him. He comes to the church. He's an older uh, man and I'm lucky enough to be able to share an office with Les when he, when he comes into the office. And I've known Les for oh, probably 40 years. And Les has shown me and taught me so much. Not taught me um, like a, a teacher might do with a whiteboard, but taught me by his example of what someone who loves Jesus, how they should live. He's taught me how it's important to love people. He's shown me in the way that he talks to other people, in the way that he prays. Les has taught me so much by his example. He has been such a great example to me. And Timothy would say the same about Eunice, his mum, about Lois, his grandma, and about Paul, his friend, who wrote to Timothy and told him um, the way that Timothy should behave, the way that he should uh, not be um, discouraged because he was so young, not to think of himself as being too young to be a good example to those that were around him. And you watching this, you're young too, and don't let anybody ever tell you that you're too young to be a good example to other people because you're not too young. Another way of Another word that people often use is the word role model. You can be a good role model, a good example to show your friends, to show the people that you know what living life as a Christian is really like. They might not want to listen to you giving lots of facts on a whiteboard, but they'll look at your life. They might not read the Bible, but they'll look at your life. And when they look at your life, then they'll be able to see what someone who loves Jesus is really like because you'll be able to show them kindness in the words that you use, in the behaviour that you, you show. You can show someone what, what Jesus is like by the behaviour and the kindness and the love that you show. So as Paul told Timothy, don't let anybody say you're too young. You're not too young to be a good example for others to follow. We're going to finish in a moment with um, a song. It's a great song and it's called The Golden Rule. I hope that you enjoy it. Also, Elkana got in touch with me and she has put together a Kahoot quiz all about the last topic that we looked at. It's got 12 questions all about the Bible. So we'll put the link to that underneath this video and hopefully you'll be able to click onto the link of that. And um, at the end of the video, we'll have one of, another one of our wow videos just to finish off. But I'm going to say cheerio for now. Have an absolutely fantastic week! God said to us, the golden rule is love, and so we love one another as he loves us. Again. God said to us, the golden rule is love, and so we love one another like he loves us. It means we love, 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 love one another. Oh, we got to love like him. And again, it means we love, 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 love one another. Oh, we got to love like him. Are you getting it? Ooh, we're going to go back to the start. Do that with us? Wait a minute, Nick. Let me get myself organized. All right. We're going to go back to Here the we start. Go. God said to us, the golden rule is love. And so we love one another like he loves us. God said to us, the golden rule is love, and so we love one another like he loves us. It means we love, 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 love one another. Oh, we're gonna love like him. It means we love, 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 love one another. Oh, we're gonna love like him. Okay, we've got another section. It goes like this. Love, love is the greatest. Love is the highest. Love is the way of Jesus. Love, love is the greatest. Love is the highest. Love is the way. It means we love, 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 love one another. Oh, we're gonna love like him. It means we love, 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 love one another. Oh, we're gonna love like him. 
Cause we love, 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 love one another Oh, we're gonna love like Him It means we love, 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 love one another Oh, we're gonna love like Him Let's do the third section Love, love is the greatest Love is the highest Love is the way of Jesus Love, love is the greatest Love is the highest Love is the way between 40 to 50 million Easter eggs every single year. We put a blob of chocolate into the half mold. We then turn that mold upside down and most of that chocolate will drain out to be reused. Um, what's left coats the inside of the mold evenly. We blow cold air onto it or cool air onto it for a process of about 30 to 40 minutes. And that gradually cools down the chocolate. After about 30 to 40 minutes, it's gradually cooled down. We hit the mold with a hammer and the, the half shells drop down onto the ramp and then move along. And then we will wrap the eggs in, in silver foil uh, very quickly. The eggs move along the line where we either add chocolate to them or they will go straight into the boxes. And very over in a very quick process and the final process is that the cartons, egg cartons, are then put into what we call outers or cases of chocolate which then go to the shops and they can be either six or nine depending on the size of the eggs and finally they reach the shop and you the customer can then go out and purchase the eggs and enjoy them at Easter.